Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, we will talk about nutrition. Hi, my name is Ashley Roki. And I'm Guy Training. And today we're going to be talking about some nutrition apps. Okay. So the first app that I have is called From Farm to Plate. Mm -hmm. And on this app, basically it just has the food groups, the different mm -hmm. food groups. So um, you just click on a certain food group. So let's choose vegetables. And what it does is it takes you to a screen where mm -hmm. it gives you options to learn about what foods like are in the vegetable group where vegetables come from or and why you need vegetables in your diet so you can explore a lot of the information exactly in great and it's not overwhelming with text so there's mm -hmm. not very there's not a huge amount of text mm -hmm. um, and so yeah just and it has very nice pictures which mm -hmm. I like and let's go back and it also has physical activity so okay. that's a nice feature. It's not just the food, but it's a physical, physical activity that you need. So how much physical activity do you need? And it'll um, come up and tell you. Mm -hmm. So it's a very simple app to use, which is nice. Yep. Um, let's check out the survey feature. And the survey takes you outside oh, the does? app to okay. your browser well, and yeah. it'll ask you questions about <laughs> what you eat and it will okay. give you some feedback. So it's a, it's a great there feature and you can go to it. You can see it's a really nice uh, okay. survey and it lets uh, the people who made the app, which turns out to be the University of Nebraska, oh. where we are, Very and nice. it <laughs> helps them get some feedback about the app and learn a little bit about the habits. So that's uh, something that you can get from that. I love the fact that it's colorful. I love the fact that the text is not too heavy, so you can mm -hmm. use it with fairly young kids. And uh, you pointed out physical activity as part of that uh, mix. Mm -hmm. So this, is a re this has replaced the food pyramid and the idea is to make it more equal parts and just to see how they relate to each other instead of having that idea mm -hmm. of less and more and all of that. Okay, next app. And we've talked about this app, but it has been redone since we talked about it last time and it's been a while. So uh, just try it out. Let's see what eat, happens. So eat and move omatic. Let's see. Oh, and I saw right away on the first page you have the option for Spanish, yeah. which is a nice feature. Which is great. Okay, so if you eat a medium energy drink, mm -hmm. you can burn it by, and then it gives you different options of how you can burn off those calories. That's pretty neat. Yep. Um, for 37 minutes. <laughs> and okay. there's the tips on the bottom. For example, energy drinks contain a lot of sugar and caffeine, not for kids, uh, which, are burn, which are hard on your body. If you feel sluggish, try drinking some water, get up and stretch, or take a quick walk. So there's also healthier alternatives mm -hmm. offered to it. And you can scroll through. I mean, you can do that whole automatic thing. Um, and just get a new one or this one yeah oh it's like a slot machine come that's on who doesn't like that's slots fun. <laughs> okay so yeah there's various mm -hmm. things in here Doing lots of activities more. and lots of foods that uh, are up and around and you learn a little bit more here the tip is that apple juice is a good source of vitamins and minerals which is very different from the energy drink we just did so that's, that's a great to, way to look at it. And it's a great way for kids to be able to explore. So mm -hmm. you can give them an assignment or you can say, you know, choose three foods and tell us something about them and how long will it take you using activities you're already doing. So kids mm -hmm. can find something they're doing and then start doing the math of is it worth it or not. Again, so another simple app, yes. but very useful. And let's try the last one, Big Fork, Little Fork. So Big Fork, Little Fork is really an app to help adults, teachers okay. or parents, work with kids on food preparation and different things that you can do with kids. So it's fairly simple things you can make and healthy. So good combination. Let's try it. Okay. So let's do learn. Mm -hmm. And let's go to some 
cooking skills since we were talking about that. And this gives you various options. So safety rules mm -hmm. for cooking, um, cooking skills by age. Let's try that. So this is nice because this is developmental. What are some things you can do with kids not trying to put too much on them? And a, a great way to think about how you might go about uh, sharing with kids work in the kitchen. So we're going to go. Let's try a recipe. So let's shoot for a recipe. Mm, what do we want to do? Breakfast. Breakfast. All right. All right. So let's do a cinnamon apple breakfast sandwich. That sounds All good. All right. Okay. So. So here we go. It has. Yeah. What you need. Mm hmm how to make it, and then nutritional information. Yes. So I love the fact that there's nutritional information. Mm -hmm. And when you scroll, you can also see that you've got stars about what people thought about this. Prep time is really important. I love the fact that the font is really large. Mm -hmm. So kids can follow easily and read it. And I have my kids uh, often cook with me, and they have to look in the book. And it's, you know, the numbers are small, and it's hard to track. This is very, very clear. So there are tips here too, right? So what happens if you click on that tip? They'll oh. come up. They come up. Mm -hmm. this is a fitting. So we get to see how you make this, I think. Or well, in this case, how to safely put a stove on a pot on the stove. So you can actually have people model and kids or, and or adults. Mm -hmm. In my case, I need all the help I can get. So you can actually follow step by step at what's happening, on a, what's happening in your kitchen and what's happening in theirs, which is great. So this one is called? Big Fork, Little Fork. And so today we talked about lots of apps that help you think about nutrition. And then summer comes, I, I find my kids helping more around the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a great opportunity, whether it's in the classroom or at home. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom. <laughs> <laughs>